Black Natural Plant Based Mama here, and today we are in the kitchen making granola. Why pay for overpriced granola when you can simply make it at home? And I promise you, it's going to be at a fraction of the cost. Now, if you've been watching me on Instagram, then you know I have recently gotten addicted to Kite Hill yogurt. This stuff is so good. I would probably eat this over dairy yogurt any day of the week. It's so good. So I've been deciding that all I need and all that's missing from this deliciousness for me to have usually for breakfast in the morning is some granola. But I went to the store and in trying to choose some of the brands, oh my God, it's, it's overpriced there. Let's just say it. And Black Natural Plant Based Mama, she's on a budget. So I decided why not make my own? And hey, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So if you'd like to know how to make your own granola at a fraction of the cost, stay tuned. And if you are not following me on Instagram and don't know anything about my new obsession with Kite Hill Yogurt, then I'm gonna put that information right here so you can make sure to follow me on Instagram. Keep up with my Insta story too. That's where I'm always posting food and my yumminess of the day. All right, let's get started. Okay, first up in our ingredients is oats. We're using three cups of old fashioned rolled oats, not the quick cooking. And then we've got three quarters cup of chopped walnuts, as well as three quarter cup of chopped almonds. And you can mix and match the nuts, pecans, cashews, whatever. Then we've got a half cup of shredded coconut and a half cup of flour. You can use whole wheat flour as well, but I used oat flour, which was basically pulsing oats in my Nutribullet. So that's what I went with for that one. And three quarters cup of melted coconut oil. Then we've got a half teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. A half cup of maple syrup, or agave or brown rice syrup, whatever um, your thick sweetener of choice is. Then we've got one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I also added one tablespoon of ground flaxseed just for an extra nutritional boost. And then mix-ins for later would be dried fruit. So in this case, I've got golden raisins and dried cherries, which I am still very much addicted to. Thank you, Aldi. Now, in a new bowl, we're going to mix together all of the liquid ingredients. The coconut oil, the maple syrup, and the vanilla. And as you can see how those separate, really gotta take a few moments to get that stirred together. It might take you about a minute or two to make sure that that is well incorporated and mixed together. And then, surprise, you take the liquid ingredients from the one bowl and pour it into the dry ingredients in the other bowl and get to mixing again. The key is to make sure there are no dry patches left like this. And because I'm extra, I looked in the pantry and saw some pepitas. So I decided to mix some of those in as well. That was probably about a quarter cup to a half cup. Again, it's your granola. You can make it exactly how you want. Stir that in, and then we're going to put it on a cookie sheet. You can not line it, or you can also put parchment paper under the bottom. Just made sure to show it's got a little bit of a lip because you don't want to chase granola down in your oven. And then we're going to put that in the oven at 300 for about 40 minutes. You're going to stir it at the halfway point 
and you're not going to add your dried fruit until the end. So when it comes out nice and toasted, this is what it's going to look like. And it'll probably be a little lighter than this, but I'll explain in the next section when we do the taste test exactly what happened. <laughs> Okay, so time for the taste test. Okay, well one of the funny things is I left it in a little bit longer than I should have. So next batch, I'm going to wash it a little more carefully, but I was multitasking and cooking dinner at the same time that I was making my granola. But it is still yummy, so let's see how it tastes. <laughs> It is still super, super good though. I definitely recommend that you make this. You will not be sorry. You can tweak it however you like. You can customize it. I couldn't find my chia seed, otherwise I would have added some chia seed in there. I'm gonna try some with hemp heart. Um, I'm just gonna kinda mix around a few things, do some with some dried apricot, which I love, and other dried fruits. So let me know what you think and what if you'll try this in the comment box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.